Please welcome to the room winners, Grammy winners of Best Compilation Soundtrack for Visual Media, Barbie the Album. We have George Dr Draculus, J Draculus and Brandon Davis. All right, questions please. Yes, can you please stand and let us know your outlet? And I'm gonna give you my microphone. Oh, thank you. Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Billboard. I've sat with you two before, good to see you again. <laughs> Congrats. Um, Barbie has sort of been this nonstop powerhouse. How have you taken time to really soak in all of its success? You know, it lives, it, it became ubiquitous and you know, and it became, I remember I was in New York like a couple weeks after it opened and just kids going with their pink outfits. I think it really, we haven't had a monoculture in a long time. So it's been great to have everybody kind of rally around something and, you know, and bring everybody back to the theaters and then everybody listen to soundtracks again. And, you know, we made a real effort to, um, I'm, not, I'm probably not answering your question, but we <laughs> made a real effort to make sure that the musical experience was, was as exciting as the film or as heartfelt as the film or as, you know, we see you as a film, you know what I mean, kind of a thing. Our next question will come from Music Universe virtually. Sure, uh, I'll take that. Um, I mean, we were very, very lucky and able to work with you know a group of enormously talented writers, producers, and artists. Um, you know, I think. Every artist, every writer that was involved in this, every producer that was involved in this project, you know, was in very early seeing footage, watching the move, watching the film, watching scenes, sitting with Greta, and I think it was that time spent and invested really getting an understanding of the world of the movie that you know really allowed people to write perfectly the you know the perfect songs for the picture. Um, but it was really a lot of time and a lot of um, you know a lot of effort put into um, you know. Uh, uh, watching the picture and, and, and writing to the picture. I couldn't hear what you said, but I just wanted to add. <laughs> um, w one of the great things about it also was nobody said no. All we did was call people, and, and they were just like, I'm in. You know, there were no, there's so much love, even, you know, during the project stage. The next virtual question. Who is it? And the next virtual question will be ABC Audio. Hi, guys. Congratulations. I remember we, we um, it was this time of the year, uh, last year, and Billy and Phineas came to watch some scenes, and Greta was about seven months pregnant, I want to say, and she'd kind of waddle down to the front, said, okay, in this scene, you're going to see this. She'd come back up. And it, okay, in this scene, and they were kind of like, you don't have to waddle down, you know, you have to go down to the front of the theater. We're right here, we're all together. But they watched about, I want to say, 40 minutes of it, and they're kind of marching orders, like, hey, we'd love to have you involved. Uh, do whatever you want, but if there's a way to write Barbie's heart, that's what we're really looking for. And they left. It was rainy. It was a terrible rain. And they left, and Greta looked at me and said, well, what do you think? I said, eh, I think we got a good shot. And then that was a Sunday, and on Tuesday, the song came in almost pretty much what you heard. And uh, I know I was floored. Everybody was just floored. Like, how does this, how old is Billy? I think she's like 22. I don't even know what, how old she is, but how does she, like, tap into something so universal, like you said, it, just, it resonates with everybody. It's a pretty much undeniable, you know? Look at me, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be moved by it, but I was brought to tears. <laughs> 